Hello crew, here's the French Bull. I hope you're all doing all right in this um, bloody day. So I wanted to start this video with a look at the really the macro count I got uh, I got in mind. I'm going to, I'm going to try to, to keep that not too long. But uh, here you got you got the Bitcoin log growth curve can find in indicators. I like this because it's really yeah I'll show you the trend of uh, of this asset and we stop here of each uh, bull market which we didn't reach here at least yet and um, it's well, one of the reasons I think we we are not done this bull uh, bull market so yeah that's it and I, I see this as a one, two, three, four, and I believe we are working on a fifth macro wave. Why do I see this like this? And not, uh, for example, I could say one, two, three, four, five. Here, and we will have made a bigger wave too. I mean, that could be possible. I guess even in terms of time, a bit short, but yeah, I could be possible. But there is some um, some psychological ex uh, aspect uh, I would like to to go quickly on. And here I count this as a wave one. Wave one is um, uh, the first. Uh, Initi movement of the of the trend, the initiation of the trend, where really the most early mover are coming in. Wave two is happen usually when uh, everybody think, uh, not everybody, but th the first big retrace, the test of this in first impulsion, and usually during a, a wave two um you will hear uh, invest investors here and in, um, news telling that uh, this rally was uh, has failed essentially and uh, it's going to retrace back to to zero here or to the the root of the of the first rally and that's really what we what we were able to to heard about during that time, the first that's the first time Bitcoin died, <laughs> as uh, some memes like to say. There was a really few uh, news outlets that was talking about Bitcoin at the time, but the few that did were telling that Bitcoin died here. That was a ninety percent retrace. Then we got a wave three. That is when um, most of the most of the market participant of uh, of the impulse coming, which is really what happened here. Uh, that's I'd say that's the first. Uh, that's when people start getting interested about Bitcoin. Really, when new starting to talk a bit about it. Mostly specialized news, but uh, that was the beginning, and yeah, that's when I discovered Bitcoin as well, personally. Then we got a wave four, that is a big shakeout made by by market movers, by big uh, orders of shares that kind of test the supply, the reaction of the market. You sell a lot, and you see if the market can sustain it well. And the buyback a bit to to push for the last uh, the last rally, and in the last rally the FOMO there is that's when there is a lot of selling in the be beginning of the bear market as well, and we do have here the same thing, uh, really long bear market and news were telling that Bitcoin was dead. Miners were selling the computers or the ASIC miners and stuff and Bitcoin was dead. 
And then the third wave here, when really most of the world heard about Bitcoin for the first time, when it came become mainstream, and an uh, institution came in as well. The first institution. And uh, yeah, that's during that time as well that uh, Bitcoin became more proof and, uh, more serious, yes. We got the first derivative exchange and a lot of, uh, lot of exchange we know today start to start trading at that time. Coinbase, I think, start uh, during that time. Bitfinex maybe a bit earlier. And uh, BitMEX and derivative, and that's when we we started to to get a yeah, derivative product as well on Bitcoin, and we got uh, yeah the bear market here, and here's a really big institution coming to to get interest, maybe mostly like here. So yeah, um, and here. And here uh, we can see clearly uh, we do have three wave, but we don't have a fifth one. So I can't believe we are done yet. <laughs> Question is where this will this for finish? Because the only thing we can't do in a classic impulse is overlap wave one, which is at about uh, 14k right now. So <laughs> that's still a lot of move. And um, this uh, one reason I wanted to show you this is because I think we are in a configuration uh, similar to, to the one we had in 2013 here. And I think this is where we are right now. We are in a wave four, in a big wave four, because here we have a wave four, uh, maybe here or here. That was quite fast, uh, shallow. Even if it was like forty percent, it was bought back really quickly. Even here, a bit longer, but it was really quick and. And really responsive. We have two weeks already. Just have, yeah, one two weeks of blood. Yeah, we will have four weeks of blood. It's more painful, a bit like here. And this for remember from top to bottom. That's eighty percent lower down. That's huge for way for way for probably finished here, but still, I think it was a, a flat here. It didn't do sub count, but yeah. so that's where I stand. And from a, uh, I mean, if I use a fib extension tool, so I try to use it. Uh, Without log option, even if it's complicated with Bitcoin, can see how usually for web three we look for one sixty one eight to two sixty one eight, and here obviously we almost uh, always we shoot, <laughs> and we got the yeah five for five sixty one eight that been tagged. I'm going to count uh, for wave 4, I take the length of 1 from bottom of 4. On this scale it doesn't show anything, so we can take the length of 1 plus 3 from bottom of 4. Plus four. And we do have the fifth coming here at the 4618. So that's again a very extended fifth, really big. Usually a fifth you expect you would expect the 0618 to 1618 and here we really made a blow of the typical Bitcoin move. So, yeah. And uh, I 
I can zoom a bit here. I think I have, a, yeah, I got a lower count. Is this going to be visible on a week? So, same here. I, I made a count. It's debatable. There's always a possibility to count this, but I think it's it's good. Question is to know if this was the top of the of this three. Gonna show yeah. Because I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. Don't really need the sub count. We know we have a four here and and here it's either a four or one, two, maybe three, four, five. Does it work? It could. It's a bit short. So yeah, from the sub count I made I I made the four here. And so we do have same here, do we have a one, two, one, two? I was able to something I'm making the using the feedback station tool. I think it, it fits well. We do have here a retrace of about fifty percent. It's really good for wave two. And one, two, three, four as a triangle. I think the fifth wave and the two here. So if I take the lens of one from Bubos two, I got the wave three coming a bit above the five sixty one eight. So it's a big extension again, but uh, but it worked. And yeah, I'm gonna take the lens of one plus three. Because if I take just the length of one, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> From the proposed four, and we do have here yeah, a proposed fifth that come nearly to the three sixty one eight. So you see how fifth wave tend to really extend a lot. And here, if I take. Come on. Hello. If I take the proposed one, this bottom of two, we are to the 561.8 again. And really retagged tagged it uh, almost to the tick. Yeah. So I, I like this pretty good. Now ask me, what can we expect for with if that we have here? If I take the lens of 1 plus 3, and let's say we saw the bottom of 4 already. Or maybe uh, if it's a flat, we, we have a bottom over here, but take this for now. We could have a fifth that come, I will guess, at least uh, 130,000. Up to... 3000 something. Yeah, I think that's visible. If I put the log growth curve again, see, we get right now we are between uh, 120 to 150. It will be a potential top. But as the same way we see uh, overshoot. A blow off top for each fifth wave here, and here as well. I didn't come, but we have blow off top. We we could really expect uh, Bitcoin to do a blow off top here. Um, really, we would have so many people looking at this. These are other these are the curve or target but everybody is looking at 100k 
So yeah, either we don't reach it. <laughs> we start here. Either we really overshot it. If there is enough short, enough short seller and derivative that can fuel a, a short squeeze, essentially. And yeah. It depends on what happened during this rally, if really we do have uh, Salvador or other country coming <laughs> to play, to make Bitcoin a, a world currency that, that can, that could make really big, big thing. So yeah, all the possibility would be to, to say that we didn't finish this three. Show you why it, I think it fit well here because it fit my extension tool. It fit why I count on, on Bitcoin uh, for, the, for the previous waves. But maybe, maybe we do, we are, you know, really different thing and we have a, a sub one here, a sub two and we go going for something much higher, I don't know. Doesn't sound re really realistic right now. That rules and create a target. So I don't really take this as most probable. But maybe my my count I show you last time. I mean that the fact that I, I see this as a as an impulse down here. Maybe that's not true. What did I count? I count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe we we have a, a one, two, a one, two, and we are doing a three. A four and a fifth. So one, two, be one, two, three, four, five. Will we finish the later on? Oh, uh, I don't know, maybe anything else. Maybe we are doing like a one, two. But that's where I stand right now. We are rocking on four. Four waves. So yeah, um, I'm gonna flip to another chat. Did I wanted to say something else here? I mean, I guess yeah. We can say two here. If really I want to say maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the four is done here. I show you last week, I, I always see this as an impulse, but maybe I'm mm -hmm. wrong. And the four come here and we've done the fifth here. And it's done and we didn't reach a final target and that's it. Bitcoin failed. That's possible. I don't know what happened tomorrow. Maybe, uh, maybe the rich elite in uh, USA and Europe and Russia and China are gonna come all together and say uh, we're gonna make war on Bitcoin and whatever. Any uh, black swan event, or maybe Bitcoin get hacked by <laughs> the FBI. I don't know. Then Bitcoin fail. Well, maybe, maybe this is done then, and uh, we could be looking for for wave two. In that case, it would have failed. Is um, it's a uh, how I can say that its biggest goal, I'd say, and uh, as a world currency, and it's going to come back to just some retail or I don't know and then we could see 
we could see a retrace to 1k maybe, or even lower. No, I don't think it could. The only thing that will make it go to zero really is it freeze is if it's broken. But even then, I think there is always people that will be happy to to buy some at some point. But maybe yeah, we do like a we are doing like a first wave down here, and we'll be doing a two and a three and a four and a and a fifth, and then a, a PC, and then going back. Everything is possible. At the end, Elliot Wave will help you find a um, logical path, help you invalidate uh, some scenario. Yeah, really, what will invalidate the bullish scenario is if we break here, top of one, for example. But uh, what what will make price move is what happened really. Um, and some events can tend to change the trend. It's not like a crystal ball. Um, so I'm going to take back the coin based chart. And yeah, here I put uh, just a, an alternative pass. If we do uh, breach the low of May 20, it's possible that we it will look like a, a five waves down. Then if that's the case, uh, that mean that most likely not uh, done at this point. We would have probably a, a retrace that could come I don't know, uh, let's say it finished uh, yeah, 27k could have a wave be uh, maybe just here, just take the eye here maybe here and we could come back for wave C, uh, maybe 20k, 15k. At that point, uh, we will look at VPV here, volume profile. And yeah, really, <laughs> our volume is back down there, but we do have our high volume node here at 20k, I think, uh, 19k. That's what would be worrying if we start to lose here, is maybe we bounce here, but if we really lose that level, there's not much a bit here at 23, but there is not much um, keeping us from 20k. But that's not necessarily what will happen. Uh, but this, where is this? Yeah, ABC. We could still be an uh, ABC. We didn't breach low yet. Even if we breach it, but I will show you later. So we could be in longer direction like this, at WXY, uh, triangle. I show you a, a flat here, the, yeah, flat here. That I think could stop here. If we really manage to get there above 60k, 19, uh, 59 here, uh, I believe it will be a, a running flat and, and not come back low. But again, it depends on what happens. Mm, yeah, that's it. So that's the scenario. Yeah, I was talking you a bit earlier. Maybe my count here is wrong. 
for me this is good we have a leading diagonal here uh, uh, wave three bit short but with a, a triangle for fourth wave fifth a shadow two so that work well but maybe this is the right count maybe we still are in a wave four I think um, the audiotician that is looking at this, yeah, I think the thing is we didn't really breach that um, that channel of the web three, which is can be considered a bit short. But it's on log scale because usually uh, on a there's several way to get waves but can I have that anyway we do have a wave one wave two we build a, a channel from uh, the bottom of, of one top of one and bottom of two and we expect wave three to breach that uh, that channel, and then to find the yeah. then to find the bottom of uh, wave four. There we go. We of course it doesn't work like this. Where am I? Yeah. I was saying. <laughs> okay. To find the bottom of uh, wave uh, or minimum target, usually what we do is we take uh, top of three, we stop of one, project from wave two. And we expect we four to, to tag this. So yeah, channel can be used pretty well on an Elliot wave as well. But in log scale sometimes it's a bit more complicated. But at the end if I if I take out log uh this go well. We do have a wave three that clearly, really clearly, breach the channel. Even if I take the, the low here, and then if I take top of wave three with top of one. projected from bottom of proposed two, we reach the minimum target of the waveform. Yeah. Now if I want to take the lowest, the, the more extended point of the trend, yeah, we nearly there. But um, I'm rumbling here. Um, so yeah, that's most of what I wanted to say about the big time frame. I think. Told you. Yeah. One, one, two, three. Working on four. The only thing we can do is which here, which is fourteen k. About. And. Yeah, just maybe a quick thing about the retracements. I don't know if we shouldn't use this uh, log log thing here. If feeble level based on log scale, 
because what's interesting is how much price we trace and when you use low scale it's it's not based on price it's based on anyway i don't know how to explain but i guess you understand but maybe we can say we reach the minimum target here as well but maybe we we have to to get to 50 here which is 15 16k because I, as i show you on the other chart during 2013 run we did a 80 percent pullback on wave 4 And 80% pullback, you know, yeah. It will still be 70% pullback, and this could still be a way for it's it will be an extra pullback, but it's possible. But there is a, a few things I wanted to show you. Some, um, some chart I've been able to, to grab uh, over the internet about on-chain analysis. And we can see um, several things on testing on this one. First of all, uh, we see in, uh, in green, it's long-term holding. And in, uh, in blue, purple it's short term holding so that means uh, people that was act buying during this rise were were new new wallets that was being built while uh, old wallet stopped to to buy end of december until february here uh yeah can too yeah until here still that's been starting to buy back already here you can see and uh, yeah miners that's really interesting metrics so the trend has been really going upwards since february been selling a, a lot after we broke all time high but since uh, tesla announcement in fact they stopped selling So, who have been pushing price down? If miner, miners weren't selling, and long time holder were already starting to accumulate. We have short term holder selling, which means a lot are selling at loss. Something we can see on uh, another chart. What I do have here, which one? You probably uh, saw it already, Twitter. So that's a uh, realized losses. Um, I. So this metric is based on uh, when coins are moved. It means um, when there is high realized losses. Like on this one or or this one, it's kind of the same metric but uh, show differently. Um, that means that uh, the coins that move at that time were moved. Last time they were moved was a uh, was at a higher price. So we are deducting that. Here, during here, coins that moved, the last time they moved was uh, was during that time. So we supposed that uh, they've been selling at loss. So, and you can see on this chart how it show really the, the lows here. 
span as well of the beginning of the beer market here. Um, another one. Say your yeah. Here's the supply held by balance between one hundred and one thousand g, and you can see how there's been increasing the stocks constantly, almost constantly. Been a bit of selling here. Uh, yeah, even here, the symmetric a bit more up to date. I think yeah, it's come to tune. You can see here as well how <laughs> it's important to really understand the metric because you have in yellow the number of entity with balance above 1k and in blue the total supply held by the same entity. Here it's 120k. But oh no it's not the same. Above 1k. Yeah, no. So yeah, we do have the the small whales that have been buying a lot and big whales that have been selling. It's so as well on the, on this one. It's again another data. I, I would like to, to show you really just one or two charts, but uh, this glass nut thing is really expensive. I think it's 800 bucks a month, so not yet. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll have access to to this. But for now, we it will have to, to, to do with the chat I found on the internet. So we see, it. yeah, these big wallets were the one selling here. Yeah. We can see a little uh, uptick change of trend at the, at the end here is a low of, of May. And we do have, yeah, this metric. And it's a weak hold. But we see how uh, in red, this is a big wallet between one really big wallet. Our entities, because it's not necessarily just one wallet, but yeah, they can recognize when there is several wallets held by the same entity. So between 1k and 100k was uh, selling until May 19 and they stopped uh, selling and start accumulating again. While the small one, this is really the small one, just continually increasing. So that's a big checkout from shakeout from uh, from really big, uh, really big wallets, but they are starting. It seems that they have been starting to accumulate back in. And if miners aren't selling, I mean, I'm I'm not so much concerned. They know what is happening. So I know there is there was a little of selling last last week I think so something like five k at all sold by miners but that's really not that much you can see here that they will not just sell at loss there are a lot of them are well aware well informed people so we will have see much more more selling from them during that time, if that was the beginning of a really long bear market. If they are not selling, it means they are expecting higher price. So, yeah. So we are in a wave four. When do fini we finish here? And where? That is a question. So one million dollar question. So um, I'm going to flip to Bybit chart and uh, yeah, we already have all of this. 
So um, here we do have, I'm going to put this in the same degree, same color. Um, I person, personally, I see five waves here. So five waves, uh, corrective somehow. And I see again five waves with really deep five, extended five. If I take um, my fib extension tool, I can see that we breach 161.8 for three, which is good target. If I take uh, on purpose four, so as we are really in an extended five, I will take the length of one plus three from purpose four. And again, we go beyond 161.8, but yeah, really just a week. So it's a good target. So I, I know some idioticians that will, I don't remember how they do that, but I know some say that, uh, that the wave is done here with a truncated. A truncated will say that we have a wave 3 here, a wave 4, and a wave 5 that finished before without breaching a 3. That is something possible in a yacht wave, it's really rare. Um, I talked a, a bit about that in the past. And in this same configuration, it will be something possible as we usually expect a divergence volume with lesser volume for the fifth and the third and a divergence in RSI. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't break down the count that way. And maybe we can see a, a three wave structure here and two, I don't know. Could have a three wave structure and a three wave structure here, which would mean we could be in something else. <laughs> Uh, all that to say that we can always find a account that fit a bias, but for me, I see five waves and five waves here. Uh, Tyler already talked about that last week, so I see an ABC. Now, if we do breach the low here, we have the possibility that it uh, becomes more obvious is that we are in a bearish impulsive which then will be as i show you earlier with a probably the zigzag because if we do five waves we must probably be the start of something rather than the end but Uh, yeah, what we want to know if what would be the target of this. Why did I? So I take the length of one from the proposed four, and we do have a target of. Do have a, a target of one extension here to oh it's because I'm in love, right? Okay. That's it. So minimum target would be zero sixty one eight. Yeah. Up to one, up to one sixty one. So like everything is possible doesn't tell you much. 
uh, but on target is a is a lens of of the triangle. So we take the iron iron leg from the purpose E, and you get to need it. That's a thirty percent drawdown. So that's twenty seven K. The the other possibility is we are in a flat. That's what I show here. Because I I don't feel the much more drawdown doesn't feel like the the most probable to me. Uh, before that, I, I show you uh, the ancient chart, but just just to show you quickly uh, sentiment here. It is. Yeah, we really are in a fearful environment down here right now, which makes me think we. We should squeeze the shorts. You can see on the crypto and grid index here how uh, we are really low. We are at 13 today. It's really the low boundary area. Oh, it which happen usually at bottom. The same thing on this one. We do have a slight increase here, but yeah, you see how uh, we're coming back down. And same here, usually it happen at bottom, October, September. March 2020 and we do have the founding chart to show you how yeah, we have a nice bounce here when founding gets really negative it means that people are more wanting to, to sell rather than buying they are really fearful and most of most of the range here have been fearful. We even have yeah, I didn't saw that a bullish CVD and aggregated future. Tell you, yeah. If you look at the bigger picture, but you probably already know that. We see how when we got really high funding, it's during FOMO here at the top here and here all this period here and since then uh, sentiment have been crashed crush down which is really what a wave 4 is supposed to do crush down overly bullish sentiment we did that since here sentiment is down so you can see here and there and optimism and uh, people looking for a broad target but overall so many people got tracked here that they are really protective and each time we get down here if i do a quick look at twitter i only see people is talking about 20k either Bear market is there? I don't care about catching the low. Uh, it's too too stressful. I'm gonna wait uh, things to say that long. So yeah, it feel like like bottom to me. It doesn't feel like something that need to go much more down. And if we are in a flat, indeed, so maybe it's done. Maybe we're coming down here. We could uh, do then an A B C here take the I here, I would suppose, and this this will be uh, probably the first leg uh, of a WXY, for example, to come uh, look for that, uh, that flat, you know, the flat I talked about uh, 
mostly last week I will we'll be doing something like this maybe take the eye maybe it's just no. is that right yeah yeah so a flat will need to retrace uh, at least 90 percent take the eye here and then uh, go for I will say running flat. Yeah, it will say. If that happen. So that could be just a, a. This flat could just be the W wave or uh, A wave of a larger flat if we deep, go deeper. Uh, I will suppose a W and retest the point of control here and go up here. That's what makes the most sense for me. Right now, so there's just one little thing. Oh my gosh, almost an hour. I want to make this more quick. <laughs> anyway, um, so either we are in a wave 4 or a flat, and that's what got the, the most, uh, what makes the most sense to me. I see, the for a flat. In both scenario, we will be looking to end if, uh, five waves down here. So, yeah, I would suppose we are just making wave three here, just to <laughs> to shake out even more, because I count this um, here as the one upper layer. What I wanted to do, I count this one, two, three, four, five as a wave one, then and uh, yeah, here I see a wave three a bit short, but for ending diagonal, it's good, it's still longer than the two, so then I would expect. Uh, Wave 5 to finish longer than wave 3. But maybe we just do something like this, you know, it's a, just a classic impulsive wave with a short 3. Not really sure, but yeah, I, I see 5 waves here, I see 5 waves here. So now we are looking for some kind of correction, either an ABC, either WXY, a triangle, anything. But I would expect another leg down. I, I can't. The thing is, I can't finish. I can't finish. Uh, maybe here too, but then. If we do like maybe maybe something like this, you know, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have a one here, two here. Or maybe if it's an ending diagonal we do ABCs like here, yeah, A B C S. A, B, C. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, it's already what I do with. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that work as well. But in that case, it could also be something else. So yeah, I'm kind of looking for just another like town. But again if we do have a take that low. So 
Here I put the um, A, B, C like this. With a A wave, five waves here. I see an A, B, C somewhat here. I see a flat here. because I do have five waves down here. So flat makes sense. And we do have a, an ending diagonal here for the wave C, this one. What could this be? W, X, Y. So we have a... Because of... Oh, the same, A, B, C. Or it can finish with W, X, Y then. So we'll just have an A, B, C here. Too many possibilities. I show you what makes more sense to me. What you want to look for in terms of Wyckoff. We see. I would have liked to see more volume. It's a bit, a bit low. And if we are doing a WXY, we'll just say this is a to the STB, and we're going to do an uptrust, and we're going to continue the consolidation. Right, yeah. right now, yeah, we got a nice dip of the low. It's not looking too bad on the daily right now. What we want to see if we are able to, to claim back uh, this point of control that come back from uh, this consolidation. That's a well level I called it on the report because that's where big well wells have been protecting price during that drop and I've been buying here. So here we just if we just do a deviation below that in a few environments so they can back up more. Maybe the deviation come a bit smaller down. What we want to know if are we able to reclaim this one? Then uh, the closest uh, golden retest. Then I will show you if it's an ending diagonal expanding. What will uh, invalidate the the five waves down here? If we take the eye of Tipper, how we can see this? But let's say it's here. Yeah, if we take this, it's invalidated totally. And already, if we take this eye, it will be to invalidate downside, I think. So, yeah, weekly open and then. Range back, point of control. I think it's still the same. Yeah. So if we start to reclaim this level. Yeah, look for a part. Till then, I may add back a bit of short here and there to protect again downside but I still have some open from daily here I didn't close uh, all of it I closed uh, I don't remember some of it here uh, most of it here uh, I 
I was already expecting a rise, but we didn't get it. Maybe we get it now. Mm, yeah, so that way, uh, if you got a short open from higher and we go down, you can allow yourself more easily to try to, to catch a, a falling knife. It's not necessarily the best thing to do, but yeah, we do have some targets. Sixty one eight and here at the also the sixty one eight retrace of March low seven twenty seven K. I would not necessarily catch a knife here, uh, at least not on leverage. I will wait for for some reaction and you know you wait you wait for a reaction and then you buy the, the retrace and you know your stop is down here and you can go for the, the eye. Same here, I wouldn't just buy a breakout here. You wait for for price confirmation for some trend and then gonna retrace and you try to to buy here with a stop here. Like here, you bought a bit on the weekly, I got my stopped uh, below, below the low, yeah, it will be moved below here. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna pack this up, it's one hour, it's way too long. Um, but yeah, tell me if you like this kind of update and uh, I will I will continue to do it. Thank you. See you.